So students, hope that all are doing good. Stay home, stay safe and stay healthy. Welcome to the third video of class 8 biology chapter 1 crop production and its management. Already taught the crop production first part, first video we have studied about the different types of crops. Through the second video we started the basic agricultural practices. Do you remember? The first one is preparation of the soil. That already I taught you. Second one, soil. Third one, adding manure and fertilizers. Fourth one, irrigation. Fifth one, protection from weeds. Sixth one, harvesting. And seventh one, storage of grapes. Today, we are going to study about the second basic agriculture practice that is soil. After preparing the soil, the next step is sowing of seeds. Before sowing of seeds, farmers want to identify the healthy seeds and damaged seeds. So that they are doing one simple activity to identify the healthy seeds and the uh, damaged seeds. So here you can see that one for this activity the materials we required is one glass of water. So take one glass of water and add one handful of seeds. Any seeds you can see, add. Here I put some millet seeds. You can see that some of the seeds are settled down in the water and some are floating on the water. So those seeds are floating, they are damaged seeds. They are hollow seeds. And those who are settled down, they are healthy seeds. By this method, farmers can uh, identify healthy seeds. Now, how these seeds can be sown? Seeds can be sown in the fields either by hands or by using tools. So, the method of sowing seeds directly by hands is called a broadcasting. The method of sowing seeds directly by hands is called a broadcasting. So, in the sowing with hand, the seeds are taken in the hand and gradually scattered in the entire plowed field. Nowadays, a tool called a seed drill. Seed drill is used for sowing seeds with the help of tractors. Here I will show the picture of the seed drill. You can see the picture of the seed drill. This is used for sowing the seeds. It has a funnel shaped. The seeds filled in the funnel and are passed down through two or three pipes and uh, having sharp ends. You can see the sharp ends. These ends pierce into the soil and places seeds there. With the help of these seed drills, farmers are using uh, for sowing the seeds. Sowing with seed drill is much better than sowing by hand because the seeds should neither be placed too close nor too far apart. If the seeds are sown too close, then they will not get enough sunlight, water and nutrients. If the seeds are sown too far apart, then it will be a wastage of field space. So, the seeds should be sown at a uniform distance and depth to avoid overcrowding. Okay, understood? The seeds should be sown at the right depth in the soil. If the seeds are just spread on the surface of the soil, then the seeds will be eaten up by the bugs. So if the seeds are sown too deep, then they may not germinate because they cannot breathe at greater depth. So they cannot germinate easily. So the seeds should be sown at a proper distance and a proper depth to avoid overcrowding and also 
the with the help of the seed drill we can see that the seeds are covered by soil which prevent them from being eaten by worms these are the advantages of seed drill first advantage once again i'll read it seeds are sown at a uniform distance and depth to avoid overcrowding so that the seeds will get proper sunlight water nutrients etc and also it can germinate easily and properly and the seeds are covered by soil which prevent them from being eaten by birds the third advantage is it saves time and labor because it is attached to the tractor and so it saves time and labor all of you understood this one these are the advantages of seed drills so sowing mainly done by two mothers by either by manually or by using seed drill and these are the advantages of seed drill though most of the crops are grown by sowing the seeds directly in the soil but some crops like paddy and some vegetables like tomato chillies the seeds are not directly sown in the large fields in the case of crops like paddy and vegetables like tomatoes and chillies the seeds are first sown in a nursery and allowed to grow into tiny plants called seedlings by providing them a good dose of nutrients only the healthy and well developed seedlings are then picked out from the nursery bed and then transferred into the fields that process is called a transplantation so what is transplantation the process of transferring healthy seedlings from the nursery to the main field by hand that process is called a transplantation so transferring first the seeds are Uh, planted on the seed bed or nursery then they are giving some nutrients so that the healthy seedlings will be arises and that seedlings are transferred from the nursery to the main what are the advantages of this transplantation is this is helps to select healthy seedlings and second advantage is allows deeper penetration of and also the same thing we can see that proper distance and depth can be uh, taken out and also the plants can generate or germinate uh, proper way these are the advantages of transplantation so all of you understood now so once again i'll say the second basic agriculture practice is sowing sowing can be done by two mothers either manually or by using seed drill the advantages of seed drill are seeds are sown at a uniform distance and depth to avoid overcrowding after sowing the seeds are covered by soil which prevent them from being eaten by bugs it saves time and labor and the another method is transplantation the process of transferring healthy seedlings from the nursery to the main field by hand and its advantages are helps to select healthy seedlings and it allows deeper penetration of the roots hope all of you understood already chapter 1 class work as well as the exercise question and answers i uploaded in the parent portal under the heading question paper so you can download it and write in your class work copy there are some pictures are also given so no need to copy down that pictures you can write down the notes and also i will upload that homework also you can write in your class work copy thank you